It's real. It's real. All right, so we got the Cavalier back here from paint. I started putting like some of the window trim and stuff back in. Um, and the car is all back now. It is fully painted, all the bodywork, obviously no bumpers and stuff. You know, all that stuff's on the floor, the, the deck lids, the wing. Still in the process on taping it. It's gotta clean some stuff by putting it back all together. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take all the interior out and clean it, but you can see, Everything is pretty much perfect. This car is almost immaculate. So, um, but I do have to do a little work here under the hood. Definitely change some oil. Get rid of, get that nice uh, uh, twin cam valve cover shined up red to match everything. Probably paint the calipers to give the wheels a little pop. You know, obviously definitely gonna get rid of the four by four. As you guys can see, the interior is pretty much immaculate. No tears, no rips. And uh, obviously crack on the dash where it's always broken. And then this piece is broken here, but we actually was able to source a brand new uh, GM piece. So that is going to be awesome. So the interior will all be perfect. The sunroof is good. And uh, I am going to probably replace the uh, headliner uh, with, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna re just replace the headliner or just uh, just get new ones of these. I would like it black, but uh, again, it's not really broken and nothing's wrong with it, so we'll uh, see. But uh, time to put all the trim moldings and everything back in and it should be good. All right, so we got the back on, got the tail lights in, the all red with the wing going in. Next, we'll go ahead and get the bumper in. All right, we got the seats out. Got a lot of the interior cleaned up. We got to do some stuff here with the doors. Like some of the handles are loose. But the carpet came out really good. Like I said, got to give it a good cleaning. Put all the trim molding back. Got to go in and order a few more parts, like I said, for the, for the visor and stuff like that. Uh, also, turns out I need a rear view mirror. This looks like the original piece with the glue came off and I would like my um, interior lights back on the mirror. That is a non-interior light version. So I will go on ahead and uh, get that ordered. It should be pretty cheap. That's the beauty of this car. Everything to work on is pretty cheap. But overall, coming together, tail lights are in. I started assembling the clips for the front bumper. I mean, excuse me, the back bumper over there. So we'll do that uh, probably in the next couple days and then also get the ground effects put back onto the bumper and then slap the rear bumper on the car and the rear, tech, rear section uh, will be done. I don't think I'm going to do anything crazy with the exhaust or anything on it because, uh, you know, it, uh, it's nice to kind of maybe have one car that's kind of quiet. But I don't know. We'll see. You know how that works. I'll probably change my mind. So. But that's going to be it for uh, here uh, today. I'm going to go in and eat some dinner, and uh, we'll uh, see you about the next day. All right, we got another day of work started here. And we just got the rear back bumper cover on with all the ground effects. Just got two little screws to screw into the fender. But she's coming out good. Absolutely. Exhaust, chrome tailpipe looking good. Man, every time I come to the side of this car, I see how high it sits. But don't worry, we got that situated. We got some uh, suspension coming soon. Here's another funny one, guys. Look at that. Anybody that's worked on a GM vehicle know that them windows and them power window motors suck. So during the restoration, look at that. Hasn't probably worked that good since it's been new. 